Never in a million years did I think that I would ever be sitting at a table with 20 people um, you know, debating about a particular grant. When you are passionate about something, it can change everything. I came here this weekend because it's part of my continuing effort with PCORI, having gone through the first couple of cycles, both the pilot project part and the first formal cycle. Now we're here to talk about helping others come into the process again and follow on and continue the next round of grant making. I was very thrilled to see how empowered the stakeholder group is and the advocacy, patient advocacy groups are that can actually influence and steer the agenda for what's important going forward in comparative effectiveness or frankly in, in, in medical decision making. I really saw the potential to bring patients into the review of science and to really make the process of research more patient-centered. I found it very empowering and uh, in helping me move forward in um, trying to make a difference for, say, my family members and that next generation. Every single person in that room, it, it, it honestly, um, in a way, it doesn't even matter the difference between an other stakeholder, a patient stakeholder. We're all there for the same reason. The scientists are there for the same reason. And there is such a level of respect in that room for the expertise that every single person brings to this. I think the patients bring a, a, a very unique experience because of their own experiences. And then you can also change the minds of some of the scientists because they're thinking totally clinically or scientifically where it may not really make an impact. So we can see where the evidence is and if it's really going to make an impact on people's lives. What I liked about the process is that everyone on the panel wanted to hear my thoughts and they appreciated what the patients were bringing to the panel because our experiences obviously are so different than a scientist. I found it to be a rewarding experience because I learned things from the other stakeholders and I know that they learned things from me as a patient. What was really gratifying to me throughout the whole process was we kept on hearing from Bakori every step of the way. What do you think about this? How can we do this better? Are we doing this the right way? They not only actively sought our feedback, but I could immediately see it being implemented. And being here today, we're talking an awful lot about some of the suggestions that we had made, and I'm already seeing active changes. We are still in the beginning of the beginning here. Just the interest in including the patient voice is very important.